I am not that guy's kindred spirit, is the words Marcus Holloway utters after he has confronted the Zodiac Killer's copycat. They are strong words meant to distance himself from a sick killer who murders people and leave cryptograms in his wake. Marcus may not be a sick person, but there are similarities. Both seem to enjoy old movies, both use and solve puzzles on a regular basis, and both show a complete disregard for their fellow man. In terms of damage, however, it is obvious that Marcus has done far more damage to the Bay Area than both Zodiac killers combined, even considering a conservative and non-lethal playstyle. While he does not cause nearly as much fear, he does cause mayhem on a daily basis. Hacking cars to veer off the road, making things explode because he feels like it, setting up innocent people to be the target of police response more than once, and that is not counting the people he has directly or indirectly killed or put in harm's way. Marcus Holloway is not a good guy, despite the game repeatedly trying to tell you so. He is a domestic terrorist, an agent provocateur for DeadSec. All the game has done is to make him relatable and put his considerable powers at your fingertips. But that is no excuse. The other members of DeadSec are not better by any stretch of the imagination. Wrench designs 3D printed guns for use by DeadSec members. Citara is obsessed by DeadSec as a brand and design without reflecting what is giving them all these followers. Horatio seems to find joy in designing targets. And Josh tries several times to ask if his friends are okay with their actions, but gets patted on the back with platitudes about the good things about a flat organization despite DeadSec being anything but. Since the actions in Watch Dogs 1, it is clear that DeadSec not only is a hierarchy, but they have a command structure, the Council of Days. Their agenda, while currently aimed at Bloom, is unknown but focused on, and I quote their motto, own brand of justice. While it is unclear if the Council of Daves, or what remains of it after the events of Bad Blood, have any control over the current actions of the San Francisco Department, who for some unknown reason are regarded as more playful and less militaristic. It is however clear that their terrorist actions may not be viable in the long run. Dusan has repeatedly stated that Dead Sex serves his narrative, and it is hard not to argue with this. While DeadSec in the game remains more like an annoying group of anarchists like Anonymous, the general public would most likely be far less inclined to support them would they know about the firefights with law enforcement resulting in the death of police officers, their habit of using their powers recklessly and the complete lack of insight as to DeadSec motives. They would seem as annoying kids who would use this great new innovation for their own game and that opinion would not be entirely wrong. I would quote Spider-Man, with great powers comes great responsibility, but to me it is already clear that the responsibility is something that sex already lacks, meaning they are currently at the mercy of public opinion. Once their hype blows over what and the media support for the organization here? evaporates, the members of DeadSec in general, and terrorist-in-chief Marcus Holloway in particular, will be lucky if they spe only spend the rest of their lives in jail.